Hi boys and girls, this is your Sunday school class and I'm your teacher, Miss Leslie. And this is your other teacher, Miss Andrea. Hi there. We wanted to be together in our classroom, but because the COVID virus is going around again, um, we'll make a video lessons for you for right now. When we do come to church though, there is a rule we must follow, and that is that we must wear a mask, like Miss Andrea has on, to keep each other safe. We need to think of it as an act of love. Hi everyone, this is our Sunday School Classroom. This is what we do when we come to class. We have four stations. The first station we will come to is our name tag station. You will come over here and find your name tag. The next station you go to is the prayer station, the prayer corner, so we call it. And you will find a candle, light your candle, do the sign of the cross, and kiss an icon. Our third station is where we do our lesson. This is when you grab a pillow and you come sit on the floor and listen to your lesson of the day. That is the third station. Our fourth station is where we come to our tables. You pull out a chair and we do our activity. Today I want to tell you about our t-shirts because I have a t-shirt like this for each one of you. The four evangelists are four people whose names are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The icons that you see in our Sunday School hallway beside each classroom door is an icon of each one of them. The icon by our door is St. John. They wrote the Gospel books and those books are found in the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John wrote about our Lord Jesus Christ, mostly about his life on earth and all the things that he was teaching. The gold book on the altar, the book that Father John reads to us from in church, is called the Gospel. And that gold book is a symbol of Jesus Christ. So when Father brings the gold book out, we should stand up, bow our heads and make the sign of the cross because we love and respect our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, can you think of a symbol that we use? How about the flag of the United States of America? That's a symbol of our country, right? How do we show respect and love for our country? When the flag is presented, we say, the Pledge of Allegiance, or we sing the National Anthem, and we put our hands over our heart. We also see Boy Scouts and, and people in military uniforms salute the flag. So the flag is a symbol of our country. What about icons in our church? They represent holy people or holy events that happened, and we show our love and respect for the person or the event that happened by bowing our head, by making the sign of the cross, and by kissing the icon. So an icon is another example of a symbol. Well, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they were important people that God chose to teach us about Jesus. In the first part of the Bible, a man named Ezekiel saw four angel-like beings. And in the second part of the Bible, a different man named John saw them too. Both men tell us about winged creatures they saw, and that's what's on our t-shirts. These are symbols of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And I want to tell you a little about each one, and we'll find the symbols on our t-shirt as I explain them to you. So Miss Andrea is going to come up close, and she's going to show you a picture of the t-shirt. So now I'm going to explain which one is Matthew's symbol. So Matthew 
was the winged man. Kind of looks like an angel because he wrote about Jesus and Jesus' family. Jesus had grandparents like you. Their names were Joachim and Anna, and you hear their names in church every Sunday. So this is the symbol for Matthew because he talked about Jesus' family. Mark had, was the winged lion. Oh, look at the lion. See how he has wings? Because he wrote a voice crying in the wilderness. He was talking about John the Baptist who lived in the desert. People would go listen to John the Baptist teach about God and John would teach like a roaring lion. He was excited to tell people about God and how God would soon send Jesus to rescue them. So this was the symbol for Mark. The next one is Luke. Luke was the winged ox because he wrote about priest, a priest, Zacharias. Zacharias was John the Baptist's father. A priest would make sacrifices in the temple, which is what they called their church. He would offer sacrifices for the sins of the people, and an ox was an animal that was used as a sacrifice. People would bring the best animal they owned and give it to God to say sorry for their sins. So this was the, the um, symbol for Luke. And last of all, John. John's the one that our classroom's named after. John was an eagle because he wrote words that started at the very beginning of the Bible. The words he used are from a book called Genesis. And those words said, in the beginning was the word. John wrote about Jesus in a different way, a way that took a higher level of understanding. So John's symbol is an eagle because eagles fly very high. So this is the symbol for John. All righty. Well, there you go, the symbols for the four evangelists that are on our shirt, on our t-shirts. They tell us how each wrote their story about Jesus a little differently from each other. They are all about Jesus because they each loved Jesus very much, and they wanted to us to love Jesus as well. And so they wanted to tell us all about them, about, about him. We'll get you your t-shirts to you very soon. We'll have opportunities to wear them later in the year, so keep them nice. And moms, please wash in cold water and hang to dry.